Hey, this is Malcolm341. In this video, we're going to look at an update to the Gridify UV script. This script is already a huge time saver, and now it's even better, so let's check it out. If you're not familiar with the script already, I'll just do a quick demo here. Uh, so basically what it does is it's going to take these in a uh, cylindrical shape or whatever kind of shape you throw at it, as long as it's in quads, and uh, it'll try to do its best to uh, make those into perfectly gridified UVs. So here, I'm just going to run the old script on this guy here. So I'm just going to select all the faces and click this magic button, and boom, you get this. So one click, and you get perfectly gridified UVs. And then let's just scale those guys down so we can see the wireframe here. Uh, sorry, the checkerboard. Uh, and then you just have to do like a tiny bit of minor cleanup to actually get rid of the stretching there. So I'll just go in and I'll do an unfold along V and boom, there you go. Perfect checkerboard, perfectly gridified UVs in a matter of seconds. The other really cool thing about the script is it works on face selection. So if you just want to map like a strip of polygons, for example, strip of faces. So I'm just going to grab that strip and let's say that strip there and same thing, click the magic button and boom. So it'll gridify just what you have selected and it'll leave your uh, other um, UV mapping alone. So this can be really helpful for a number of different applications, really. You use this thing all the time. So now the limitation uh, with the current script, uh, which has now been updated because I finally figured out how to fix this limitation, is uh, it couldn't be seamless. So to do like a cylinder like this, you'd have to delete the back face or use the workflow I described in the other video where you do it once and then you sew it back together, but whatever. Um, none of that matters anymore here. So I'll just show you what that limitation was quickly and just bridge that back together. Boom, there we go, bridged it. Okay, so now when I do the same thing, sure, I just want to select all the faces and run the tool and watch what happens. It sews it to itself and it's a big jumbled mess. And that's because there's no actual border edge for it. So it's trying to sew all the UVs together and gridify them and it ends up sewing back on top of itself. And then the other thing that I fixed, which I found was a minor annoyance, was when you ran the tool, it would scale your UVs up super big, and then you'd have to kind of shrink them down and like find your zero to one range, maybe where you're doing the rest of your mapping. So even though I've got this stuff here selected, whatever, I just want to like map this strip, let's say I click the button and it goes boom, and it's like, oh, it's like a thousand miles long or whatever. So I've also fixed that as well. So let's check out both those fixes right now. So we've got our big uh, corrupted mess here, and then let's look at the new workflow. So let me just go to the new tool here. So grid UV button there. Okay, so how the new tool works, or how sorry, how the update works to the existing tool is you want to hold down right click, and you, instead of going to face mode, what you want to do is you want to go into multi mode. And then in multi mode, let me just deselect all that stuff, go back into multi here. In multi mode, what you want to do is you want to select first your edges that you're going to use as the border edge, like the cutting seam, basically. So here, I'll just put it on the front just so we can see what's happening here. So I'm going to select these edges. And then I'm going to hold down Shift to then also add um, the faces as well. So in multi-mode, you can select multiple component types at the same time. And to display that, I'm just going to go into the where is it here? The uh, heads up display, display, heads up display. And I'm just going to turn on the poly count. And the reason I'm going to do that is it can show me that I have currently seven edges selected. And I'm just going to shift double click here to get all these faces. And then I've got 140 faces selected. Now, when I run the new tool, watch what happens. Boom. Perfect. No folding onto itself, no stitching. And you'll also notice I didn't have to zoom the camera way out. It's now normalized in the zero to one range. So as I do it now, I can just go back in here and like grab some more stuff and just uh, keep going. And then I don't have to keep like scaling it down every time. So let's just do uh, one more quick example here. I'm just going to put a top on these guys too, because that's now also supported. So I'm just going to hold, select those edges, hold shift, right click, and just use the fill hole tool to fill that guy in and fill that guy in. Now, this isn't a quad. Obviously, it's a crazy end gone. So the tool is not going to support that. But what the tool is going to support is it's going to support the parts that you select as quads uh, will work fine. So let's just try it one more time here. I'm just going to delete the UVs just so get it out of the way here. So basically, what we're going to do is uh, go into multi mode. 
and select your edge. So that's going to be our cut edge. Let's select those guys. I'm just going to deselect those and map those with a planar map later or something. And then click the button. Boom. Same thing. Same result. We get the perfect grid. And then again, maybe you want to go in and just uh, map this guy or whatever to a different strip. So again, go to multi, select the edges you want to use as the cutting uh, border, and then shift select the faces, and then click the button, and boom, there you go. Got your separate strip or whatever. And then, of course, that'll work vertically as well, or uh, with multiple strips or single strips, whatever you like. And then let's just check out a couple other uh, examples uh, just for fun, because this is uh, so easy now. So multi, and let's say I wanted to cut here, and sure, let's cut here, and whatever, we'll cut one down the side there. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get here into, whoops, into face mode. So grab these faces, whoops, wrong one. Let's get rid of that guy, face, face. Okay, cool, so we've got, this is like a camera map, so it's totally, Totally messed up and click it, boom, again. Just tear off that perfect uh, strip there. And then let's just uh, finally try this one out. Uh, this should be pretty cool, actually. This is kind of an interesting test to see if this works. So let's say we've got our seam here and the inside here. And uh, this should actually work. So get the faces, click the magic button, boom, one click. Totally map the torus or whatever. And then again, same thing. You want to go in here, you want to unfold along V. Yep, to get the correct like square ratio uh, once you've done it. Because the gridify UVs just gridifies it. Uh, it's kind of up to you after that to um, convert it into rectangles, I guess. And I should also mention, you don't actually need to uh, select the multi-edge face mode unless you're selecting uh, all the faces of the object. So for example, if we want to do this guy and we go into face mode and uh, we run the tool, you get this overlap, it's all busted or whatever. And so you might think, oh, I'll need to go and add a, a cutting edge here and like maybe a cutting edge here and a cutting edge here. Um, it's actually not even that complex. All you need to do is add this one. The reason being is that the faces that aren't selected act as a cutting plane um, by themselves. So you really just need that one seam. And then if it's select extra like this, it also doesn't matter. So for example, we can get this uh, loop and this loop and this loop and this loop with a single, just these single edges selected and run the tool and boom, you get the perfect uh, uh, gridified UVs uh, without even needing to select these border edges because the face selections also act as a border edge. And if you wanted to gridify all the faces, you actually only need to select uh, this one edge. So if we go into multi, select that guy, and then double click to shift double click to get all the uh, faces and run the tool, boom, same thing. You get the nice gridified UVs because again, that creates the border edge there. So no need for other types of border edges, uh, the faces will act as a border edge if they don't butt up against each other. And if you're just mapping small sections of the model that don't wrap around uh, to each other, you don't even have to use the multi-mode. You can just use face mode, for example. So if I just wanted to grab like this and this and this and this, because it's not going to have an adjacent um, kind of edge or whatever, it's not going to sew onto itself. So the just the face selection will act as a border edge. So if we do that and click it, boom, get a nice little strip mapped out there. And uh, same thing, we can just go back into here and get uh, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and same thing, click it, boom, get another one. So um, depending on what it is you're trying to map, uh, sometimes you'll have to use the edge plus face selection and other times you won't. If you've already purchased the Gridify UV script or the full script pack, this will be a free update. So you just have to download the script again and you'll get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased it yet, you can grab the script by itself or get it in the full script pack. And I've also included it as part of the UV mapper toolbox. Uh, so take your pick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Without viewers like you, this channel would not be possible. If you like this video, please purchase something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a spectacular day.